Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing well. So as you could tell by today's title, we're going to be talking about one of the possibilities of a Leeds United player leaving in the January transfer window. And as well, I'm going to be covering something that I've been thinking about for the last couple of weeks. So, and I just wanted to get my opinion. I want to understand your thoughts about the situation as well. Obviously, as you know, Leeds United will be doing a lot of business in the January transfer window, whether that's regarding players coming in, or whether that's regarding players going out. And as you can tell by today's title, we're going to be talking about Matthias Klich. So obviously he isn't happy at the moment at the club. He has made pretty much, I think about 10 appearances for Leeds United now coming off the bench. And he's only getting maybe about like 10, 15 minutes a game. So it's not, he hasn't really been able to impact on the squad. Mark Rocker and Tyler Adams have pretty much taken over that centre midfield role. So I can't see Click being able to be ahead of them. So, and as well, he hasn't made the, the, the Polish, Polish squad. And at the age of 32 now, he's made two, over 200 appearances from the club. We signed him from around about £1.5 million back in 2017. So uh, if he's wanting to move away from the club, then that's that's fair enough. I think Leeds United need to recycle these types of players like Cooper, Cliff, Dallas, Ailing, Forshaw. They're all in the mid mid uh, early 30s, like Cooper's 31, Cliff is 32, Dallas 31, Ailing 31 and Forshaw 31. So this is obviously another topic that I want to talk about, but... Mateus Click has been linked away from the club in January. Whether we're going to be able to sell him for a, for a profit, I don't know. But his CV looks good. He's played over 200 games for Leeds United in the Premier League. He's, he, is, he is a Polish international. Obviously, unfortunately, because since he's not getting any game time and he's not been able to get any minutes under his belt as much, he hasn't really been able to make the Polish squad. So... He's looking to move away from the club, whether he's going to go back to Poland, whether he's going to go to Germany, whether he's going to stick in the Premier League. But I think it's it's the right move for him if he wants to continue, especially coming towards the end of his career. On other news, uh, I want to talk about um, the, the, the recycling situation at Leeds United and whether and how are we going to do that. So obviously Cooper, Click, Dallas, Ailing, Forshaw... Uh, the types of players who I feel like Legion United should now get rid of. But at the same time, if we are going to be recycling these players, who are we going to be able to bring in? Like, we're not going to be able to get much for, for the players because we signed Click in 2017 for 1.5. We signed Cooper from Chesterfield for 600k back in 2014. Dallas from Brentford, 1.3 million. Ayling, 1.6 million. Forshaw, 4.5 million. Players like Forshaw... I can't see us getting much money or much profit out of the uh, out of the sale because he's only made 55 appearances for the team. So he hasn't really been able to show his quality like he did at Middlesbrough. That's why Leeds United signed him because obviously Bielsa liked him. And there's players like Luke Ayling, Stuart Dallas and Cooper who are all coming towards the end of the contract now. Like I know there's been reports that uh, Luke Ayling will be signing a new one year contract whether that's going to um, be true or not. But at the same time, there's so many other players now who we, need, in a sense, need to get rid of. But then it's like, who else do we bring? Because if we get rid of all these, then we, we're pretty much stuck with kids again. And I don't want that situation. And I know Leeds United have been linked with a lot of players. The 49ers are wanting to take over Leeds United at the end of uh, next year, 2023. So if that if that is the case, then we can maybe hold on to these players until the end of the end of the season, and then go from there. We can maybe rebuild from there. And it's just being able to replace these players because if we don't, then we're stuck. Because I don't want to sit there and see kids on the bench. I want to be able to see depth from the bench and who can come on and impact the game if players are not performing well, or they can give the other players competition or replace them in the first team. And that's what I want to see. And this is why I'm a little bit confused on how we're going to go about it. But I will be making a video on that. There's going to be another video of three Le uh, three players that Leeds United should sign in January. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, it's just a quick video like I'm on my break right now. So just leave your comments below. Just I just want to know a little bit more on how we can recycle these players and how we can go about things in a different manner. 